Cornus, Florida, Flowering Dogwood. The Flowering Dogwood is actually a beautiful um, understory tree. It grows native in eastern Oklahoma. It has a little bit harder time in the heat of uh, central Oklahoma, this side of the state, but can be successfully grown if you have good drainage and provide supplemental moisture and a little bit of um, a filtered sunlight protection from drying winds. You'll notice that the leaf looks an awful lot like um, our rough leaf dogwood that we saw in a different, um, different presentation. It has the impressed veins, has the curving veins, um, the oval leaf shape with a taper, uh, the veins that curve along the side. Like the other cornus, this is one of the genus that always has an opposite leaf arrangement. Um, it blooms in the spring before, very showy before the, the leaves come out and the showy part of the bloom is actually the bract on the flower which we'll see in um, the next or the next slide. The stems on the flowering do dogwood are very straight. Um, it actually has a very um, neat kind of tidy habit. There aren't a lot of curved branches. There aren't a lot of branches crossing. It just sort of has this very regular branching structure with straight stems. Um, the bark eventually um, turns into this blocky pattern um, on the older trunks. And um, in the uh, winter, after the flowering, um, you have some, some red berries which will form and stay on for the winter. So you do actually have a little bit of winter ornamental uh, characteristic there. The flowers in the spring, as I mentioned before, are very showy. And this, these pieces right here are not really petals. They're bracts. The little cluster of, of things right here in the center are little flowers. Those are individual small flowers. That's why you have individual small berries that are produced out of each one of those flowers. The bracts um, typically are white on the species, but on, on, on some cultivars you may have a pink or even uh, a light pink or even a deeper pink. The buds have uh, a very different appearance on whether or not they're a flower bud or a bud for a leaf. So the flower buds have this really rounded appearance, um, almost like a doorknob, and the leaf buds um, are very pointed. This tree will tolerate some sun, but you really have to keep it out of the hot and drying winds, especially in central Oklahoma.